Today I thought it'd be cool to show you something that's currently on my menu and touch on the creative idea behind it as well as how it's made. But I will try and keep that as brief and unpretentious as possible, I promise. So I thought we'd look at this nice wintry dish. It's a simple roast pumpkin soup, but made with a pine needle stock and finished with pine needle oil. So you get a hint of aromas from the forest. At the table, I finished this with a whipped oat cream that's been smoked over burning pine branches and then frozen in liquid nitrogen. This gives you a really nice contrast of hot and cold and richness and smoke against the comforting warm soup. It's nice to reflect the season of winter here, both in the flavors that I'm using, but also in these aromas of walking in a winter pine forest. And with the temperature contrast of the cold frozen smoked cream against the hot pumpkin soup. At the table, when I add the frozen pine smoked cream to the hot soup, it creates this mist that kind of gives you the visual representation of this pine smoke flavor. I really like this dish for the fact that it's really simple at its heart, it's really comforting and immediately appealing, but then it's got this other layer of interest with the pine smoke that hopefully kind of conjures up some nostalgia and some of the imagery of winter. So let's start off with that pine and then I'll take you through how I make the dish. I really like walking in Macclesfield Forest. It's, it's not too far from where I live and that's where I forage the pine that I use for this dish. I'm far from an expert in wild foods, but I do like to have a few dishes on the menu that feature forage seasonal ingredients. Partly because we have some fantastic ingredients in the Northwest and it's nice to make a feature of them and to introduce people to them. But also it gets me out into nature and keeps me connected with the seasons and the part of the world that I'm in. And that's important to me personally and how I relate to my craft. So I've carefully picked some pine from this forest and now we can start constructing the dish. So let's start by making the smoked cream. I'm using an oat cream for this and I place it in a dish raised over a container in which I burn some of the foraged pine branches and I cover that over so that the smoke infuses into the cream. Next, I'll whip that cream and then I can freeze it with liquid nitrogen. Once the whipped pine smoked cream is frozen, I can break it into smaller pieces. Now let's make the pumpkin soup. I'm using pine needles in the stock here to add another hint of the forest. First off, we'll roast the pumpkins and I'll give you all the exact amounts and times in the video description. And while that pumpkin roasts, I'm gonna make a white miso and pine stock. We start off with the pine needles and then we add the white miso. You can use miso that you've bought or you can make your own. I'll have a future video showing you how to make koji and miso at home. Then we add lemon zest, thyme, garlic, onion, kelp powder, celery, rosemary, and celery salt. We pour boiling water over all these ingredients and leave them to infuse for an hour. Then to make the soup itself, I saute onions, garlic, and celery. Then add in the roasted squash and the stock. It's finished with a little bit of tamari and a little bit of dried masa to help thicken it. Once it's cooked, I blend it and season it to taste. I serve a small bowl of the soup and finish it with pine needle oil. At the table, it's finished with a little of the deep frozen pine smoked cream. And that's the finished dish. A simple roasted pumpkin soup, but one that also hopefully conjures up some nostalgia and that feel of a winter pine forest. Thanks very much for watching. And if you've enjoyed the video, please give me a like and hit subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos as well. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon.